Hi, I'm Josh Fishman, President and Owner of A. Fishman & Son Diamonds in New York. Welcome back to our Ultimate Diamond Education Series. Over the course of my more than 30 years in the diamond business, I've been asked countless times, aren't diamonds just a commodity? How could two diamonds with the same shape, size, cut, color, and clarity not cost the same? Shouldn't I just buy the less expensive diamond since it's a better deal? These are fair questions, and the less expensive diamond could be a great decision. But it could also be a very big mistake. It could be that both diamonds are truly identical, on paper and in reality. In this case, of course, the less expensive diamond is the better choice. But keep in mind that two diamonds may be identical on paper, but still have very different characteristics and desirabilities and different personalities which make one more attractive than the other. Unless you know how to spot the differences between two diamonds that appear to be the same on paper, you could be led into a costly mistake. That is where expertise and the decision from whom to buy your diamond come into play. And just to note, I want to compare apples with apples. So we're comparing diamond prices at the same level within the pipeline. Two wholesalers, to retailers, to online uh, internet sellers, we want to compare the same thing. So how can two diamonds that appear to be the same on paper be different in reality? There are really four issues. One, diamonds can be graded by different gemological laboratories. Two, different gemologists within the same laboratory may be grading the two different diamonds. Three, Gemologists make mistakes. And four, gemologists don't evaluate desirability. They don't have a judgment when it comes to value. They're just mechanically grading a diamond. Let's discuss each of these one by one. First, the issue of different gemological laboratories grading different diamonds but giving them the same grade. Not all gemological laboratories grade diamonds with the same strictness. They may be using the same methods and they may theoretically be using the same criteria, but their application of those criteria and their discretionary judgments on giving the diamond the color grade and the clarity grade are different. As, it, as I discussed at length in our video Beyond the Four C's, What You Should Really Know Before You Buy a Diamond, which I highly recommend, the EGL, European Gemological Laboratory, and the IGI, International Gemological Institute, and even in many cases the AGS, the American Gem Society, have a reputation for grading diamonds more leniently than the GIA. So you really can't compare two diamonds with the same grade from the different laboratories. They are different. Most of the diamonds that are graded by the GIA are graded more strictly. And if the EGL, IGI, or AGS diamonds with the same grade as the diamond from the GIA would be given to the GIA, the grade would be lower because the diamond is not as good. So that accounts for difference in pricing. Second, even within the same laboratory, all diamonds are not graded by the same gemologists. Even within the same laboratory, two gemologists may make different judgments about the same diamond. As a result, two diamonds of different qualities can get the same grade. If the weaker diamond gets the same grade as the stronger diamond, and if the seller prices the diamond based on what it really is, rather than just the written grade, the weaker diamond will cost less, as it should, but will appear to be a great deal compared to the more expensive diamond. Of course, in reality, they are not the same quality, and each may be properly priced in comparison to the other. Third, gemologists can make mistakes in grading diamonds. Gemologists are human beings, and as such, they are very capable of making mistakes in grading diamonds. A seller of a diamond with such an inflated grade is not going to ask the laboratory to correct it. He may sell it for a relatively low price, giving the impression of a great deal, but in reality the diamond is less desirable and, truthfully, less valuable 
than a properly graded diamond. Fourth, certificates cannot give you a judgment on the value or the desirability of the diamond. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, gemologists at gemological laboratories, regardless of which laboratory it is, don't understand that when you purchase a diamond, you want one that is pretty and that has value and desirability. This is more than just a matter of grade. It is a question of value. Gemologists are trained to mechanically grade a diamond statistically. They do not understand what makes a diamond worth owning. They don't put their money on the line. They don't purchase diamonds. They don't evaluate more than the strict four C's of a diamond. Therefore, their certificates do not tell you whether the subject diamond is one you should purchase or stay away from. We at A. Fishman & Son, who put our money on the line and buy diamonds, have to understand what makes a diamond desirable to the end user and why, between two diamonds of the same grade, one may be worth purchasing and the other not. We have to decide for ourselves whether the certificate reflects the true color of the diamond or whether it is influenced by other factors. We need to determine whether the clarity grade is accurate and, even if it is, whether the inclusion is desirable or not. You can find a lot of the discussion and factors that I take into account in my other videos on the four C's and beyond the four C's. What you should really know before you buy a diamond. So what is the lesson that we can take away from this discussion? I strongly and passionately believe that for you to make the correct decision on which diamond to buy and whether you're getting the right price, you should purchase your diamond from someone who understands diamonds. Someone who has spent his own money investing in diamonds for his own inventory. Someone who can understand whether a diamond is properly graded, whether the color on the certificate is truly correct, and whether the clarity is not only correct, but desirable. That takes experience and expertise. That is something you do not get from an online seller of diamonds who simply downloads other people's lists of diamonds and offers you thousands and tens of thousands of diamonds from his website. Only someone like A. Fishman and Son, who invests his own money and who can look at his own diamonds and describe them to you, can assure you that you're getting the right diamond. Not only that, but I wouldn't put my own money into a diamond unless I looked beyond the paper, beyond the grading, beyond the gemologists, beyond the gemological laboratory to determine if I really felt that that diamond was desirable and had the value worthy of my money. So that's my advice to you. If you'd like to discuss any diamond or any other aspect of this video or any of my other videos, please do not hesitate to call me or email me. I will respond to you personally with whatever I can do to help you understand and guide you in the right direction. Until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>